Hi kids, I'm gonna start off today by giving you your supply list so you can gather up the things from your art bags. You're gonna need your oil pastels that were in your bag, um, pencil and eraser. You're going to need a sheet of watercolor paper that was in your bag, a ruler, which was not in your bag, or something straight. You can use the edge of a book if you'd like to, just something to make a straight line. And then you're going to need some circles. <laughs> I'm going to use a tea can um, and a roll of washi tape. You need about three sizes of circles. So I've got one here, one on the outside of the washi tape, and a third one on the inside of the washi tape. So three sized circles that will kind of fit into each other. So pause the video, go dig around and see what you can find for your circles and find your art supplies and we'll get started. Okay, today we're gonna talk about this piece of artwork right here. This is a painting um, done by an artist named Sonia Dulani. She was married to Robert Dulani, who was also an artist. And interesting, their paintings look an awful lot alike. <laughs> um, they worked side by side. They loved the same ideas and the same colors. And so their paintings are very, very similar. In fact, when I was looking for this one right here, this particular one, there were just dozens of them. Um, they love. They both loved circles, but dozens of them done by each artist that that looked very, very similar. So this is the one, um, or one of the ones done by Sonia Dulani. She loved circles. She loved bright colors. She not only painted, but she also made quilts in this style. She was also a seamstress. She was um, at first she was married to an art curator from an art museum, and. Um, there were rumors that she only married him so he would display her artwork in the museum, that she didn't really love him. She was kind of using him. <laughs> well, that marriage didn't work out for obvious reasons. <laughs> and then she met Robert, who um, they shared a lot of the same interests and same ideas, and that marriage did work out. <laughs> so um, we're talking about Sonia and Robert Dulani. They lived in the early 1900s. They were greatly influenced by Picasso and Matisse and the Cubism movement, which we talked about last week. So let's get started. This is gonna be a fun one. <laughs> We're gonna start off with your piece of paper and your ruler. And just right down the middle of it, draw a line. I always say to draw light until you get it right. This time we're gonna draw pretty dark on that deal. Then we're gonna start drawing some circles. Now, these are not just any circles. If you look on here, there's a line right down the middle of her painting. And the circles don't always, like right here, they don't always match up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a half circle. So starting at your line, trace around whatever circle you have. And then come down here. Do the same thing. They don't have to be right down the center. The circles do not have to be divided right down the center. That's what I should say. Like they can come off a little like that. Do one more pretty big one down here. Okay. Now we're going to draw some circles inside of those circles. If you have a roll of tape, this makes it go really, really quick because I'm just gonna do the outside and then the inside. Oops, kind of slipped on that one. Let me try that again. Outside and the inside, outside and the inside. Okay, I'm looking around my table here. I would like some bigger circles. I'm gonna look and see what I can find here. I've got <laughs> a pickle jar that I use for watercolor. That will work. Yeah, I can smell pickles. Now I'm gonna be craving pickles.
Okay. Oh, that really does smell like cloths and pickles. Those are my favorites, by the way. <laughs> if you ever want to buy me a Christmas present or birthday present, cloths and pickles can't go wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's talk about something besides pickles. Let's go back to our circles. Okay, so we're gonna work on this using a little bit of color theory. It's um, it's gonna be kind of interesting. So let's talk about color theory. We're going to talk about primary and secondary colors. So the primaries are going to be red, blue, and yellow. Those colors are what you use to mix everything. So out of your oil pastels, we're going to grab blue, red, and yellow. Okay. And we're going to do one of these circles. It doesn't matter which one, whichever circle you want to start with in oil pastel in the primary colors. Now, oil pastels are similar to crayons, but not exactly. We're gonna go over with oil pastel first. But you can see there's kind of some circles, uh, little white circle specks in there shining through. So I'm gonna go back over it again, this time doing little circle, little circle um, motion with my oil pastel to try to fill in a little bit better. putting it on there really thick, and then you can blend it with your finger. But you can't do this part with crayons. Blend it all around. Okay, going with our primary color scheme here. Let me go back in like this. Layer back over it. Blend it a little bit. Do yellow. And instead of going back to blue, I don't want to make just a real obvious pattern. I'm going to go with red again. Just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna come down here to this one. I'm gonna make this one secondary colors. So looking at your color wheel, secondary colors are going to be orange, violet, and green. So we're gonna grab orange, violet, and green and start working on this one. This little pickle jar circle kind of got a little wonky. I'm gonna try to fix it. Go back over with some little circular motions. Blend it as much as I can.
Okay, then come down here and do blue, red, and yellow again for, again for the primary colors. Now, if you really wanted to, you could layer these colors, the primary colors, and mix them to make your own secondary colors. Instead of using green, you could just layer yellow on top of blue, blend it with your finger around a little bit, and it would make green. If you want to do it that way, you sure can. If you're up for a little bit more of a challenge. Okay, so this is just the first part of our project here. We're gonna keep going with these circles. So I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna lay, kind of layer one right there. Layer another one, maybe you want this one a little smaller, right here. Another little one right there. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video while you color your circles and then I'm gonna show you what the last step is. Remember on these, you still wanna use your color schemes, your primaries and secondary colors. You can um, maybe make this one secondary, primary, secondary, or however you wanna do it. You wanna make sure you don't have colors side by side. Like if you wanted to do a primary one right here, you probably wanna not start with blue right here. Hope that makes sense. Color in primary and secondary, and we'll meet back here in a minute. 